me share my entire screen. Share. Okay. There we go. Sorry for the hold up. Okay. Um, so good morning, first of all. Um, so that little sticker that I gave you, make sure you stick it to something. Um, you'll need that in the lunchroom. Um, I know not everybody goes to the lunchroom, but put this somewhere safe, even if you don't eat in the lunchroom, just because I'm not entirely sure if you need it in other places. Um, Kate and I have yours here somewhere. Make sure there's. Um, so today, the reason I wanted you to have your sculpture out and to grab one of these post-it notes or notepads is because we're going to start with something that um, you would do if you were in a college art class. And so you're going to learn a little bit about peer critique today. So here's, um, here's what a peer critique is. It is giving and getting constructive feedback on a project you're still working on. And you want it to be, well, it's something that you're still working on, so you can still make changes if you like the feedback that you got from the critique. If you don't like the feedback you got from the cr critique, you can completely ignore it and just keep on the path that you're on. But the problem that artists and writers and you know anybody who makes something, the problem that, you, that we sometimes have is we fall so in love with what we've been doing or we get so um, just kind of caught up in what we've been doing that we're not open to new ideas um, because we're just so focused on the path at hand. And so the point of a peer critique is to, to give you some fresh eyes, some new outlook on what you've been doing and to give you perhaps a, a, to present a new path that you would have never thought of. So other people are going to look at the work, give you some feedback, and then help you decide if there are things that you might want to think about and change in the work. Um, and this is something we've done a lot in college classes. This is what it typically looks like. Everybody gathers around a central point, and the work is there where everybody can see it. And then the college professor asks questions, and people like talk right in front of everybody else. They talk about the work, each person's work. And it's not confrontational, and it's not mean, and it's not critical. Even though the word critique is in the title, it's not a critical thing. Um, it is meant to be something that helps you. Um, so it's not something that's, that's targeted and mean and I hate your work and it's not that. Um, and so they, they go around in the circle and they talk about everybody's work. And so because this is your first time doing it, um, we're not going to have a peer critique in that way because I think that can be kind of intimidating to sit in a big circle and just show your work in front of everybody and to talk about your work and hear other people talk about your work. Um, maybe that's something that we'll ease in a little bit later in the trimester. Um, but the people who are at home, they need to be able to do this too. And so uh, we're going to be doing a modified version of a peer critique um, to help you get some new insight into the work that you've been looking at for several days now. So it's good to get some fresh eyes on what we're doing. So here's the first thing that you're going to do. Um, and this is everybody. This is people at home as well as people here. I want you to take one photo of your in-process Raku sculpture, so whatever view you feel is your best view, take a photo of it, and then on Schoology, in today's folder, I've put a discussion. Okay, this is your assignment for today. So you're gonna post one picture of your Raku project, knowing that it's not finished, right? Knowing that it's in process. Post a photo to that discussion right now. So use your Chromebook to take a picture, use your phone to take a picture, um, I'll show you up on the screen where you're going to post it. Uh, let's go here. Peer critique. All right, so in the orange folder, the Tuesday, April 6th, there's a peer critique assignment. And if you click on the text, like where you would write a comment, right here, there's a spot for you to upload a file. So you're going to take a photo. Um, perhaps with your Chromebook, perhaps with your phone, whatever you're most comfortable with. And you're going to post that photo to the, but the people who are at home will have something to critique. They're going to look at your photos that you're posting. And um, VLA students who are at home, I'm going to talk to you about this um, when we're done, when I'm done presenting today. Um, that's, 
the expectation is that you're leaving comments on all these photos that kids are posting in this discussion folder. People who are here, after you've posted your photo in, uh, in this discussion board, we're going to do the peer critique live in person. And I'll explain what that's going to look like. It has something to do with the post-it notes that you have here. But this is for the kids who are at home, um, because I think it's, it's going to be very valuable for them to see what you've been working on, because they're kind of working in a vacuum. They have no idea what you've been doing. All that they know is my presentation every day. So to get for them to get a glance at what you have been doing, I think it's going to be very valuable for them so that they can reaffirm that they're on the right path. Or if they've been doing something completely different, it might give them um, some new ideas to look at your work and see what you've been doing. So again, if you put the cursor in the area where you would type, you don't have to type anything. Um, if you, and if you click on this little icon right here that says file, that's what's gonna allow you, I believe, I've never done this before, but I believe, it'll allow you to post a picture. And then the folks who are at home are gonna leave comments on those pictures. Hey, it's working. It's always nice when something you pictured in your head actually works in reality. All right, keep posting those photos. People who are at home, VLA students, what you're going to be doing, and this is modeling the same thing these guys are going to be doing, you're going to leave a reply to every single picture that's been posted here. You're going to leave an affirmation, like, I like what you blank, and then explain something that you like in their sculpture, and then leave a question, such as, have you thought about blank? What is blank? Um, maybe consider blank. So you're kind of leaving a positive and then you're leaving them with something to think about that might help them uh, as they are constructing their work. So people who are here in person, you're gonna get a chance to read these comments at a later time. Um, VLA kids have till, two, uh, till 3 p.m. to be able to post their comments. So we'll maybe take a few minutes to look at the comments tomorrow in class. All right, so keep posting those photos. I'm gonna go back to the PowerPoint. So for the people who are here in person, you're going to grab that, um, that post-it note pile or the, um, the little, uh, some of them are post-it notes, but it's still working the same way. Um, you're going to take that with you and you're gonna walk around the room. You're gonna take something right with you. And you are going to look at the actual projects in person so you don't have to write any comments on the, on the pictures posted on Schoology. That's only for VLA kids. Um, you're gonna write your comments in person. So you don't have to put your name on the, the, the uh, post-it note. So this can be anonymous, um, but we're gonna be thoughtful. We're gonna be kind. Uh, and the first thing you're gonna write on this post-it note is an affirmation such as, I like how you, and then tell me what it is that you like. Sorry, one second. And I missed it. All right. Um, so if I was um, going to leave a comment uh, on Sylvia's work, it's right here in front of me, so I'll take a look at it. So I would say I like the repeating spiral motif a lot. Uh, it reminds me of, uh, of ferns in the woods. It reminds me of ferns in the woods. Then, shh, hang up, hang on, you're gonna get plenty of opportunity to check, hang on. Um, then, on the same post-it note, leave a question or a comment. So I could say, if I'm wondering about her work, I could say, um, have you thought about putting coils in the center? And I don't know, maybe she thought about that, but this is just something that I thought of. Then I'm gonna take that post-it, and I'm just going to stick it somewhere around the work. Please don't put it on the work, okay? Don't destroy anybody's work. Just put it around the work and write legibly so when that person comes back to her spot or his spot, 
they will be able to read what you wrote. What are the affirmations? And then what are the, the comments? And then um, for you that are in person, uh, this is what you're getting points on today. There's no, going to be no progress picture that you have to submit today. Um, I'm just watching to make sure that all of you are participating in this critique. And when you're done, save your little post-its, put them in your locker, put them in your notebook, and that's all you have to do for today. You will not have to submit anything beyond what you just submitted to the discussion board. Okay? So let's take five minutes. Get up. Take your post-it notes. Take a, a writing utensil. You're going to leave a comment on every single culture in this room. I love so I would say, like, just start in a row so you make sure that you get everybody um, in that row before you move on to the next row or the next table. <laughs> All right, people who are at home. Okay, I'm going to end the show. Stop sharing. And I'm going to stop recording. Okay.